You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We appreciate you spending some time with us on the show and supporting our show partners, supporting the local economy by supporting the Consumer Quarterback Show online at ConsumerQB.com. And, of course, you can reach out to the hotline. Follow us on social. We'd love to connect with you at Brandon Rhymes one on Instagram, Twitter, all the regular handles, of course, YouTube, Brandon Rhymes Realty. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can see uh, previous shows, past shows, and all types of good content there as well. Uh, we've got a couple of hot listings here in Tampa Bay. Uh, I've got a property at 1618 Daily On. This is a South Tampa Beauty uh, corner lot, Mediterranean Palace. Right here in beautiful South Tampa, 1618 West De Leon Street in Tampa. Three bedrooms, three and a half bath, uh, 2,266 square feet, multi-story townhome. You got large bedrooms, vaulted ceiling, ceilings, uh, stainless steel appliances. You can walk to the local bars, restaurants, and shop uh, right there in the Hyde Park District of Tampa. 1618 West De Leon Street in Tampa. One of our hot real estate listings from the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. 16400 Gulf Boulevard. This is North Reddington Beach, right on the waterfront beach uh, overlooking the dolphin filled waters and sugar sand beaches of North Reddington and Pinellas County beaches 16400 Gulf Boulevard is a 400 square foot condo kind of a small uh, condo opportunity here you got ceramic tile covered balcony great great rental property. And you can see all of our real estate property listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. And I want to give a quick shout out to Ramin Kazami over at Heights Soft Wash, pressure wash company uh, here in Tampa Bay for all your real estate needs. He does a great wa- job uh, washing and, and pressure washing your properties. HeightsSoftWash.com online at HeightsSoftWash.com. Give him a call. Let him know the real estate quarterback sent you. All right. Fred D. Felice in the house, water quality expert, WaterScience.us. Welcome back, buddy. Always so good to be here. Yeah, man. Awesome. Uh, let's jump right into it. A lot of people don't realize what's in their water, especially if they're just straight hookup, you know, from the city or, or the municipality. Uh, there's some stuff in there. <laughs> there's lots of stuff. <clears throat> yeah. The big thing people notice is the smell of chlorine mm-hmm. in the water and how it feels on their skin. <clears throat> and it's actually more than chlorine. It's actually what they call chloramine, which is ammonia mixed with chlorine. And it's such a deadly combination that you would never want to mix those two things in a pail and breathe that in because you'll find yourself on the floor. Wow. Uh, But they put this in there. And then twice a year, as the temperature rises, especially in the water mains under the ground, they have to add more chlorine. So sometimes you'll go in the bathroom, turn that faucet on, it just about knocks you over. Wow. So... The thing that people aren't understanding is bad enough you're drinking if you should drink that, but your skin will absorb everything right? like that. There's some things that your skin does not absorb, but chlorine and the chloramine, it does. Yeah. And there's all kinds of studies about that, how it relates to cancer and things like that. Mm. When you're in the shower, you're taking a hot shower, you got the, uh, the vapor. Yeah. And you're breathing that right in. Wow. So just imagine what that's doing. Yeah, exactly. Chloramine. And the, the intention of that is to kill bacteria in the, kill in the bacteria. water. Kill bacteria, yeah. You also have microplastics. That's a big topic, too. Yeah, and, and that is getting more coverage now than ever before. Uh, just about any company that sells a filter, uh, if you go online, you see them talking about microplastic particles. Plastics never go away. All they do is degrade into smaller, smaller sizes. So they're just everywhere. Wow. I met a gal that uh, uh, she has a consignment type store that Mm -hmm. she rents out clothing. Yep. And she's so particular. She has a filter on the drain of her washing machine so she's not adding more plastic particles. Wow. Because it's in your clothes, it's in everything. That's interesting. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Chloramine chlorine, plastics, and then also pharmaceutical drugs. Pharmaceutical drugs. Uh, And 
the sad thing is the water company cannot take out the pharmaceutical drugs at mm -hmm. the plant. If they were able to do that, we wouldn't be able to afford to buy the water from them. Wow. <clears throat> so fortunately, we take care of all of that. And You've got a solution. We have the solution. By the way, before we move to the solution, fun fact, the number one pharmaceutical drug in the water Viagra, yeah. right? He told that's me one that. of them. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And and there's some other ones too, uh, antidepressant pills and ah. things like that. I wonder if you're seeing fentanyl in there with this open southern border we got. God no. <clears throat> you know, and it's just not the fact that people are dumping their old scripts bottles down in the toilet. Right. It passes through you, and it, right. everything we do winds up in our river. That's where we get our water from. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Exactly. So. Yep, this ground it's seeping through the ground. Some of it goes through the groundwater, the yeah. natural process there. Uh, if you just join us, we're talking with Fred D. Felice, water quality expert on the Consumer Quarterback Show. WaterScience.us is his company. WaterScience.us, uh, family-owned business. You work it with your uh, sons yeah, and your three, family. Yeah, three of my five sons <laughs> nice. are there, and uh, my ten-year-old grandson is helping us now with uh, social media. Cool. There you go. <laughs> Put them on social. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, man. And so we were going to talk a little bit about the solution. So we talked. We identified, you know, some of the problems there. Yeah. What what is the solution, Fred? Uh, the, the big thing, um, we depend on the water company to get rid of all the bacteria So when it's coming to your house. So consequently, now you're having to deal with the chlorine and the chlorine. Our whole house system takes all, eliminates all of that. Yeah. And then uh, because our system leaves in the good minerals, yeah. our part of our system also takes care of hard water scale so you're not having those issues i like that yeah. leaves the good minerals you need those minerals in your body and you, need and, you know those water softener systems don't work or don't do anything really other they than, take out the minerals yeah. and uh, they won't even remove chlorine or chloramine right so they're not really doing filtering which people kind of misled to think oh i've got a water softener right. i'm good yeah. no you're not you know you're, you're leaving a lot of the bad stuff in yeah. and uh it's uh you know, you're using a lot of salt, so you're also polluting the environment, right? Yeah. Two things happen. When those systems, it's called regenerating or backwashing, mm -hmm. it replaces the minerals that are in there with salt, mm. and it flushes everything down the drain. Mm. So we're putting sodium chloride down the sewer, again, winds up in the rivers. Yep. And the other thing, it's putting that salt in your water. So you're raising the salinity of the drinking water. Yeah, so you shouldn't drink it. The other dirty little secret, uh, that sodium in the water is corrosive. Yeah. And it can make pinholes in copper pipe. Mm. So most of the older homes have copper tubing under the slab. Right. You get a few pinholes in there, it's coming up. And you have no choice but to repipe the whole house. I've seen some of those properties, and I've talked to different, you know, people that are either homeowners, owner occupants, or, you know, some of the investor guys. And they said, yeah, you know, we got under there and we had pinholes, and yep. we ended up having to replace the whole thing. It's because they said, why would we do just half the house when we know the other half may be a couple of years from now? You have so to. you got a complete mess there. All your floorings ripped up, yep. uh, your concrete foundation, yep. and replumb it all. And the chloramine. It, the, the ammonia part is also very corrosive. That in itself can make pinholes and copper pipes. Mm, that's interesting. So, yeah. Wow, Fred DeFelice here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. I'm your host, Brandon Rimes, WaterScience.us. And, uh, yeah, so you think about, you know, the, the overall acidity, too. By the way, you know, I'm a big Tony Robbins fan, went to his business mastery, walked on fire uh, with his uh, UPW, Unleash the Power Within. But I remember the first event I went to, he kind of talked about the, the, uh, the, the sliding scale there, the scale of acidity and, and basic, you know, the base and, and acidity and where you're at on that. Uh, you know, determines how your, your body composition, your, your, uh, you know, if you're higher acidic, then cancers can survive and thrive in that acidic environment. And that's for all the people that are drinking Cokes and Mountain Dews and it. Pepsis all day and all those sugary uh, type sports drinks or other things, uh, you know, snacking on cookies or whatever. But anytime you're throwing in sugar in your body, right, you're raising that acidity. And it's also similar to the water uh, that we're talking about here, too. People have, if, they, if you have a water softener that uses salt, you must now have a reverse osmosis under your sink. So people are, they know that term also. 
the reverse osmosis unit takes out the sodium, mm. but now it's there's no value to that water. It's coming out below seven on the pH scale, mm. so it's very acidic. Mm. Uh, the fact that you have to have that little separate faucet if you have yeah. an RO, that is that RO water will eat through everything except stainless steel. Yeah, and and so Fred will come out. He will he will test your water for you, kind of like I remember my dad used to go out to the pool and he'd put the water in there and he'd drop a few chemicals yeah. in there or you know little colored things and i thought it was so cool because of the, the colors of the rainbow or whatever yeah. but he'll, he'll come out and test your water for your tap water your drinking water and you know coming into your home and he has the solution for you as well so he's got a whole house system uh that that mounts up on the outside he's got a under the sink inside where you're yeah. actually getting your drinking water uh which i do with a lot of my you know my cups here my yeti cups uh throughout the day i drink those i drink a lot of the sparkling water too just because i really like that yeah uh, but you can also so Lindsay bought me this machine where you can take the water from your tap and take it over to this little machine and it'll shoot the the uh, CO2 in there, I guess that is. Yeah, the, it'll, it'll, the, like a like a uh, sparkling water. There you go. And it tastes very similar to the yeah. stuff I buy, you know, over the counter. But Fred, yeah, talk about that. So you go out and meet with people, no hassle, no obligation. You just sit down with them and say, hey, here's, here's what your water tests at. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you know, it's become a passion of mine over the years because... First of all, we meet the greatest people that have moved from everywhere to come to Florida. And <clears throat> generally, people from up north, they come here and they're really shocked by the water yeah. quality. And that's exactly what happened to me 22 years ago. So, uh, yeah, we even started off just with a simple phone conversation. Uh, we have upfront pricing on everything. There's no surprises. We're not sending a salesman out to see you. You know, I'm going to come out myself if you need us to test your water. Uh, and, and that's the that's the whole thing about it. You know? Yeah. Yep. Uh, pretty, pretty easy uh, process. I remember his first class experience when we worked with you and we had it set up on our home. So I highly recommend uh, Fred D. Felice. Fred at Water Science US is his email. Fred at Water Science US uh, is the email. You can also reach out to the show hotline, 813-917-1894. Call or text. Text the word water to 813-917-1894. We'll put you in touch with Fred and have him come over and take a look at your home, your office maybe, and check that out. We're going to take a quick break. More with Fred coming up on the flip side here uh, of the break. And I also want to jump into our feel-good story of the day as well. A random act of kindness sparks a family's decade of giving during the holidays. Feel-good story and more with Fred coming up here on the flip side. We'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. And I say Brandon Rhymes, knock out your competition. And we're back. Brandon Rhymes here. Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by the platinum mvp team at keller williams realty my wife Lindsay and i own and operate a top 100 ranked real estate team here in tampa bay and uh, we help our sellers profit more and sell faster uh, utilizing our innovations with radio tv internet marketing a hot listing here at 2817 gulf city uh, road this one's in ruskin this is a great opportunity for 23 acres so attention builders developers gulf city road is a 1.8 million dollar listing of mine and it's a motivated seller you got lots that could be subdivided on this 23 acres uh, right on the Little Manatee River, Gulf Access, uh, Bay Access to the Gulf of Mexico from the Little Manatee River. Great opportunity, waterfront prime development opportunity 2817 gulf city road in ruskin florida one of our hot listings from the platinum mvp team at keller williams realty all right we also have uh, 3879 nighthawk drive in palm harbor nighthawk drive is a nice nice home here it's a uh, three bedroom two bath property 1300 square feet community is a awesome uh, community here in palm harbor uh, you have a pool a large backyard fenced in backyard community pool walk-in shower great opportunity at 3879 nighthawk drive palm harbor florida and you can see all of our real estate listings at platinum mvp team Dot kw .com. This is God's country. All right, giving a quick shout out to Discovery Golf Cars as well. And for business or recreation, seems like everybody's getting a golf car these days. Uh, they have lots of makes and models. They've got the Easy Go, the Star EV, Cushman. They offer new and pre owned. You can also rent or buy 
and they offer financing and mobile repair. Tampa and Clearwater locations. Check them out online, discoverygolfcars.com. Make sure you let Ethan and Marty know that you heard about them right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show and that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show as well. All right, so good story of the day. A random act of kindness sparked a family's decade of giving during the holidays. Twelve years ago, a stranger paid for Krista and Jeff's three uh, children's haircuts uh, and unknowingly sparked over a decade of holiday acts of kindness uh, from the New Hampshire family. Money was tight for the family back in 2010. Uh, quote, we were depending on our church for help with Christmas presents, and we got food baskets from them, Krista told the USA Today. Uh, Krista had saved up enough money to get haircuts for the boys and was overcome with emotion after learning that all of their haircuts were paid in full by a stranger. And unbeknownst, or the, the unknown man's act of kindness inspired the mom and her sons to perform their own acts of kindness that day and every day, every holiday season. Uh, that same day, Krista brought her sons to their local Walmart and bought three gift cards. She gave them each, she gave each son a card and instructed them to walk around the store together to find people who they thought could use them. Uh, each year since, the, the family has done random acts of kindness around the holidays for 25 days, starting December 1st. The family picks something nice to do for someone each day until leading up to Christmas. She says, quote, we try hard to go to places where uh, people don't know us and just enjoy the spontaneity of it all. Thinks it means a lot for people and it's stranger doing something that's nice for you, she said. I don't know why that makes a difference, but I think for people it does. And there you have it, our feel-good story of the day. All right, Fred D. Felice in the house here, water quality expert. And uh, Fred, what else did we want to cover here on the water talk, the water quality talk? Yeah, I have some consumer tips. Uh, <clears throat> uh, people, they've probably been told at one time or another to flush their water heater once a year. Right. Yeah, and this is critically important. Um, <clears throat> the other thing we're getting reports that people are getting a sulfur smell in their city water. Mm -hmm. Now, this generally happens with well water. But we're getting it at certain times of the year in the city water. Okay. So many times it's really coming from the hot water tank mm. because that's that hot water tank now has generated bacteria. So are you supposed to flush it once a year? Is that? Yeah, and in the beginning you want to do it every six months. Really? Yeah. Okay. When we, when we put in a whole house system for you, we do that. We flush your water heater, and then every two years when we come back to change filters on your under sink unit we will flush your water heater then too. Okay. Once our system is in your home uh, and everything eventually gets cleaned out, you won't have to do that. So that's probably due, I'm probably due for that then because the last time it's probably been done is when you were there. Yeah, and we got you in the in the calendar to come do that. Oh, good, right? okay. Yeah. <laughs> good. And, <clears throat> and the other thing, you want to make sure that smell is coming from your faucet, not from the drain. Ah. So what you want to do is just as soon as you uh, don't run the water for a lot, just run it, run the hot, fill up a cup, and smell it. Mm. If it's there, you know it's your water heater. Run the cold, smell it. If it's not, and you run a little water down the drain and it smells, mm. it's your drain. It's coming from the drain. Put yeah. some, chlorec some chlorine down there yeah, uh, or some other things to clean that up. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Fred D. Felice, uh, water quality expert online water science state us i want to jump into another story here that i was uh you know it's just so topical i keep hearing about this open border that we have the southern border speaking of you know drugs we mentioned you know pharmaceutical drugs in the in the water but uh this fentanyl issue in the, in the the southern border just being um uh, just the the malfeasance that's there the government uh, allowing this to happen i want to play a quick clip from one of the other podcasts i listened there's to. a story now exploding like out of nowhere on the border in particular it's like mexican Man, authorities and the cartel are like openly working with each other to actually get more of these caravans across i guess prior to the 21st of december when title 42 comes off tell us what's going on the footage looks incredible you've got a thousand person caravan i think from nicaragua is up there they're talking about mexican authorities are now openly working to kind of uh you know channel these people through uh, with as little uh, resistance as possible. What is, is this a new story or is this an old story that's just it, people are now just realizing what's happening? All right. There's a couple things going on here. So bear with me for a minute because the border can get a little bit complicated. So the 
the El Paso sector uh, has been popping now for about three months. This is not new. The number of immigrants being apprehended, aliens being caught crossing the border has been skyrocketing in that sector since August. So yeah, the, the short of that, long and short of that is that the the numbers of of people crossing the border illegally in the last 48 hours or 72 hours or so has skyrocketed unbelievable because of this title 42 uh, issue. I guess the 21st is the date on that. You know, again, I'm I'm a full-time realtor here, guy. you know, but I I do cover a lot of this. I want to make sure it's out there uh, because when we have an an administration that's allowing this to happen continually day after day, month after month, year after year, uh, you know, it's not good for our country. If you have borders, you got to enforce borders, you got to have sovereignty. And, you know, my grandparents were immigrants. They did it the right way. Many of you listening and watching and seeing our show, of course, you are immigrants as well. Your family at one point was immigrants. We all were at some point, right? But let's do it the right way. Let's not uh, in, in allow this to happen over the border. And then we know that drugs are coming across. We know there's prostitution happening, rapes happening in record numbers. And it's and it's all political. So, it's you know, that's kind of my take. I don't know if you wanted to add anything on that, Fred, or uh, – you know, on that, on that Southern border, that whole issue there. Yeah. Uh, it's an easy fix. It can be fixed. Right. You know, it can get control of it and, you know, get the things straightened out so people can come here legally. Right. You know, we want them, Yep. uh, but we can't have this happening. Right. And, uh, the kids, the little kids that are being taken advantage of and sold, you know, and everything else that goes on. I mean, Who's, where are we about this? Without? Human trafficking is, is record yeah. numbers, too. And it, there's almost a side of this thing that says uh, the people in D.C., these people behind it, the, the people on the left, you know, a lot of a lot of the comp- people that are involved in that. And it's, there's almost a side that says they're doing this on purpose, like there's something behind it. And then you yeah. hear the Epstein stories, you hear these different things coming out. Uh, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, give us your website. Where can folks find you, Fred? Yeah, uh, Fred at waterscience.us is the uh, uh, email. email. And uh, for your listeners, we are offering a $500 trade-in for their old water softener. If you don't have one, we'll give you free installation on the purchase of a whole house system. Nice. Plus an additional 10% discount for your listeners. 10% discount, folks. There you go. Fred D. Felice, thanks so much. Water quality expert, waterscience.us. Thanks, Fred. I want to thank also Nate Ginter for a, a show dropping in, as well as our producers, Alex, uh, doing a great job, Black Belt Fitness, Jose, the whole team. And we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Do something kind for one another. Be a force for good in the community. And we'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Call Brandon Rhymes at 813-917-1894. That's 813-917-1894.